Hi everyone, Ben here from Sydney Fruit Gardening. So I've had a comment on one of my older posts to do an update on the Panama berry. So I'll um, I'll do that for you now, given given it's winter. Um, the Panama berry does look a bit sadder this time of year, but up the top there, funnily enough, where it does cop quite a bit of wind, it actually looks really good. Um, now as we pan down a little bit and go in for a closer look, you can see some of the, the branches are getting a bit of dieback. Um, so this can be quite an aggressive uh, tree up in the tropics. Uh, it can be weedy. Um, so here in Sydney, I find that I don't really have to prune it too much because winter, winter does the pruning for me. You know, if I look at that, so really, yeah, dying or dead growth there, but a little bit more over here, I think. Some here. This is actually quite flexible still, so it might not be dead, but a few mummified fruits on there. <laughs> it's actually still got fruit ripening. One over here, I can see, but they don't taste, they don't taste as good during uh, winter. Not as sweet, not as sweet compared to the summer ripened fruit. So yeah, look, it's uh, early July, midwinter, and Panama berry is doing all right. How do I fertilize it? Well, look, I just do, I just add some homegrown compost down the bottom and it does really well. Um, I don't do too much to fertilize it. Once it's established, it, it sort of takes care of itself. Um, you can see some of the growth back there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all the way up. That was just from last season, so that sort of greeny growth. So it is quite a fast growing tree. I'll prune it back just to maintain height a little bit, maybe, in spring or if there's enough dieback, I won't prune it back at all. But yeah, look, it's a it's a easy, quick to establish tree. I think you have to, you know, if I was buying it uh, and planting it in Sydney climate now, I'd I'd probably hold off putting it in the ground until spring, summer, when it can sort of fully establish. So. Here's my red dacca bananas up there, by the way. The red dacca has certainly taken a bit of a hit during winter. While I'm at it, I'll show you the blue javas. A small bunch of blue java bananas forming up there. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, look, that's the update on the Panama berry. If you have any questions let me know and i'll probably do another update again soon bye